In this Spotlight video, we're going to look at how to drag and drop from Addicted Drums 2 to your host. The song you hear in the background lack drums at the moment, so let's try to fix that. I'm hearing some type of tom groove with this one, and I think I know just where to find it. Let's see here. Yeah, the rock and roll midi pack. Uh, let's listen to this one. Yeah, that's the one. Okay, so now I want this beat in my song. Uh, I'll just grab the name down here, drag it onto my timeline, and drop it. See? Couldn't be easier. Okay, so let's duplicate this one and give that a listen. Okay, so that's great, but here's a new section of the song and I need something else for that one. I still want it to be powerful and I really want it to be something with a featured crash. So let's go looking for that. Browsing through my MIDI packs, I think the loud MIDI pack might have what I need. Let's see here. I want to hear this in the correct tempo, so I'll enable sync tempo down here. So let's find something with a crash. Let's see here. No, not that one. Let's look under songs. This one's perfect. I'll drag and drop this one at the transition of the song, like that. And let's see what that sounds like. There. Let's just duplicate that one now and see how it sits with the rest of the song. Perfect. Just what I was looking for. You can also drag and drop audio from Addicted Drums 2 into your host. Let's show how that's done. First off, let's open up Addicted Drums 2 again. And if I click the kick down here, let's see here, you can see that the audio recorder down here reacts. And that's just because it just recorded that sound. So now I can drag that as a WAV file onto my timeline and I've got it sampled. So what I can do now is I can put it out so I get a nice four to the floor beat here. Let's just put it out even bars like that and one last time. There, really cool. Okay, so I want a snare too. Let's click this one. There, and same thing here. Now it's been recorded, so I can drag it onto my timeline. And I'll put that one on the twos and the fours. Like that, and let's duplicate one more. There, a really nice solid four to the floor groove. The drag and drop functionality is also really great for working with loops. I have a track queued up here. Let's give that a listen. Now, I have a loop in mind for this song, so let's listen to that. Yeah, that's cool. So what I do first is I adjust the loop to my tempo like this. Great. And then I play two bars by clicking play up here. Great, now that's been recorded and I can drop that WAV file here. And I'll just have to cut that up uh, a little bit so I get two even bars. Let's delete that and duplicate it. There, now we can actually play around a little bit with it. So let's cut it up even more uh, over here there and there let's duplicate that like this and let's give that a listen really cool and all done in seconds
As you can see here, the drag and drop functionality truly opens up a world of possibilities, regardless if you prefer to work with MIDI, pure samples or loops. Good luck now and have fun creating.